Hello everybody, Dirtblade is back and I was going to do an update video to this, so I'm going to do it now. So, I watched Bay Raiders Season 1, right? And, well, now I watch Bay Raiders Season 2, even though in the Season 1 review I talked about Season 2 for some reason, I don't know. I guess I just really wanted to talk about it, so, yeah, I finally, actually I finished the series like a month ago, honestly. You know, I kind of miss it. It was it was fun, fun funny I guess, more, but yeah. So yeah, I'm finished. But we're gonna talk about season two, Bay Raiders. These are their Bay Raiders. They use it with an S when they're talking about an individual one, which I just don't like. I don't like how they do that. But anyway, they got new designs. The main characters, they're not really anything interesting. I don't know what is up with those gloves. But, uh, yeah, not really anything interesting. Bay Raiders, as you see, they are like, I got another picture. They're like a car with a one wheel that represents a bay. Alright, let's get to the story real quick. So, the story, it has so many plot holes, so many things don't make sense. But, let me get through the story as best as I can. So, there are... So basically, Sho gets in the world, he's separated from- The new world, there's a portal to the new world, and this is the new world. He's separated from his friends, but he does meet Rachel and Jimmy, which are these two lovely lads right there. They know everything about the previous- The prosperity the world used to have, because now, Bay Raiders, you can't do Bay Raiders battles, this, they just don't exist anymore. Like, I don't get it. How can they not... Like, no, who's telling them they're not allowed to bay battle? I don't get it. But yeah, no one knows what bay raiders are anymore. Cause these... I don't get it. Are these guys, like, ghosts? Like, how did they live so long? Like, this guy, this kid is, like, eight. I don't get it, but... Yeah, so Sho meets them. They... Sho somehow has a new bay. New bay. It's not Pegasus. It's Ifrit. I've already said this in the other part, too, but... Yeah, so... I don't know, he, there are six Bay Raiders still in the world, and when they have to unlock their power to get let out the sixth mythic beast. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I've heard that word so many times in the show, but yeah, show has Ifrit, one of the mythic beasts. They go around, they eventually meet Ricky, who has Behemoth, and, or no, he has Bahamut. And he is also one of the, has one of the Mythic Beast Bladers. Wow, because only Bladers, or should I say the Raider, the, the Battlers? I don't know what they call them, but he, yeah, yeah, every battle is going to be one. And then we got, then he, they finally meet um Leon with his Biako. Because, yeah, you know, they just keep meeting new members, and they meet um this guy. But yeah, nothing really impactful of the story. Until, until, I, I'm trying to think, so they need the, they need the power up of the six mythic beasts to save the world, but they need to get all the bladers on their team, but they can't convince, this is the first guy they battle, show battles him, this is Armez something, and he doesn't want to join the team, he wants to work alone, he wants to be, okay, this is what I hate, okay, so, Armez, he's like, he's like, he wants to be the best Bay Raiders battler ever. Like, that's his goal, but that is so pathetic. There are only six battlers in the whole world. Why are you going for that stupid goal? Hey, whatever, whatever, whatever. We'll talk about him more in a little bit. And then we have this guy, Task. He works for the antagonist of the show. I'll set an image of him right here. Kaiser Gray. Wow, scary. But what Kaiser Gray is trying to do is he wants to revive all the Mythic Beasts too, but he wants them under his control. So, I don't know. He's still going to bring the world back. So I don't see how it's so bad. Like, who cares? Like, oh, wait, no. So if they disagree with him, he's going to, like, kill them. 
or something. But yeah, Task is working for Kaiser. And he's just kind of a bad guy. They know. But Sho has hope that Armez will join them. But like I said, Armez works alone. He doesn't want to be part of that. He doesn't want to work as a team. He wants to be the best. But later in the show, that hypocrite joins Kaiser. So Kaiser has both of these guys on his team. The other two bladers, I forgot to say that. So, yes. Finally, they... Then, like, you know, some filler episodes, you know. They all finally get their, um... The Mythic Beast to come out of the base. Oh, and they had the guiding lights. These guiding lights. When they come out, that's when they had enough power. It took Ricky a little while to get his, but he eventually caught up. And... Since all the spirits were released, they had to... Uh, then, uh, then I'm confused. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this, um, Rachel tells them about there is this, like, area where there's golden tokens. And if you get all the golden tokens, you, you, you the world's back. Something, something really stupid. No, you get control over the beast or something. But yeah, Kaiser Grey, of course, is there with these two guys. And showing them, challenge them to a battle. They did a tag team battle, which was, of course, of course, Ricky and Leon, the two best characters, in my opinion, versus Task and Armez. Of course, they lost. The only battle Ricky ever won was because he was on Show's team. That's so annoying. I was rooting for these guys. So much, but they still lost. But yeah, these guys won. Actually, the bad guys won all the tokens. I'll just skip ahead and say that. They won, and they released the Mythic Beast and locked up our heroes. Oh no. The world is back, but Kaiser is in charge. But there is a huge plot twist. So, there is this story of... Of... I'm trying to think. Um... Like this hero who tried stopping the evil Tempest. His name was Flame. Yes. But Rachel reveals to them that Flame is Kaiser. Dun dun dun. He was locked away for a long time after saving the world all those years ago. And he's mad, I guess. But when they're locked up, they... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm explaining this so bad. I, it's the story so bad. You can't explain it good. But anyway, there. Rachel has like this watch, and she's like, "There's still a way we can win." And now I'm trying to think, how did they exactly win? I think they just battled Kaiser. Oh, Kaiser got rid of Task and Armes because he didn't find use for them anymore, so they locked them up too. But, I can't remember. Did he battle him? He had this ultimate Bay Raider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sho battled him. And Sho, of course, won. And then the world was back. Kaiser was defeated. I don't remember if he died or something. Yeah, I think he, like, disappeared. But, oh yeah, and the world saved. And that's it. And Sho and his friends never went back to their home. They never went back to the real world. We never got an answer for that. That is so stupid. Like, what? But, you know, it wasn't... I, it, it, yeah, it was pretty bad, but... You know, it was fun to watch. Um. So, yeah, that's kind of all I gotta say. I guess it was better than Season 1, maybe. Yeah, I would say it's better than Season 1. But, you know, that's not saying much. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. There is another Beyblade series. It's, like, called Bay Warriors. That is on my to-do list. I'm going to watch that next. See you guys later. Dark Blades out of here.